Hi everyone, so I'm back with another grade of campus opportunity and this one is for all of you college students out there. So if you don't know by now, PayPal has just started hiring for SD internship or SD intern role. So this is a great opportunity for all of you college students that are looking for an internship because interning at a company like PayPal can pretty much set your career up for life. So in this video, we'll be talking about the role in details. We're going to be talking about the eligibility and I'm going to give you guys some amazing tips on how you can get your resume shortlisted as well. So make sure that you watch the entire video before applying so that you know exactly what you need to do to maximize your chances of being able to crack this role. And if you're someone who's having difficulty in cracking off campus placements, either you're having difficulty in getting your resume shortlisted or cracking the interviews, or if you need help with DSA development or anything, then you can connect one to one with me where I'll personally guide you and help you so that you are able to crack your dream company. I've already helped hundreds and hundreds of students. You can check my testimonials out and I'm sure it will benefit you a lot. So you can connect one to one with me and I'll personally help you in every way that I can. All right, now coming back to this opportunity, like I said, PayPal is hiring for SD intern role and this is a golden opportunity because we have not seen PayPal hiring in a long time because of course I make videos on a daily basis so I know which companies are hiring and trust me, PayPal is hiring. It's a golden opportunity, like it's a rare opportunity. So this is something that all of you guys should try given that you're eligible. Now, that brings me to the eligibility. So if you are a 2027 grad, then you are eligible for this. Okay. So if you're enrolled in your bachelor's degree and if you are a 2027 grad, then you are eligible for this. It's going to be a two months internship and it's going to be a great thing for your resume and of course for your career as well. So that is pretty much the eligibility. If you still have any doubt, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll be there to clarify it for you. And now let's get to the most important part. That is how do you get your resume shortlisted? And of course, getting your resume shortlisted at a company like PayPal is no joke. You have to make sure that your resume is the most perfect version of itself. Okay. You have to put your best foot forward in this case scenario. So how do you make the best resume? Let's start from the basics to the advanced level. Basic, you need to have a good resume template. So what I suggest is use a resume template on Overleaf. I'll give you guys a template in the description box. Use it and prepare a proper resume with that. So you can use it, edit it on Overleaf put all of your stuff and then basically you can use that resume template. After you have a resume template, after you have a clean looking resume template, next thing is the ATS score. So you need to make sure that you have a good ATS score of at least 70, at least 70 and above. If you want to know how to check your ATS score, then you can use two websites that I suggest. One is enhanced CV, one is resume worded. Link to both of these will be in the description box or you can just Google them. It's not that difficult. How do you improve your ATS score? A lot of people even ask me that. So there are a couple of things you need to be clear of on how to improve your ATS score. First, of course, you can do trial and error because you can just keep checking your ATS score. But how do you do trial and error? Because you need to know what to improve on, right? First is the project description. What do you need to do in your project description or any work experience, any practical experience that you have in your resume? First thing that you need to do is you need to show quantifying experience, meaning put numbers. If you are able to put percentage that improve this by X percentage, decrease this by X times, any sort of efficiency or profit, any sort of numbering, if you're able to show, then that will be great. That will bring your ATS score higher. Apart from that, make sure that there's no repetition. Use different verbs, designed, implemented, integrated. Use different verbs, develop. Don't use the same verb everywhere. And apart from that, make sure that you're putting all of the tech stacks, make sure that you're putting all of the important technical terms in there. That is, of course, going to help you a lot. Apart from that, you need to make sure that your resume doesn't have any inconsistencies. Make sure you have proper timelines, make sure you have proper grammar, spell check. All of these things are going to be very important. Something as minor as not using a capital letter can bring down your ATS score. So I'm not trying to scare you, but the point is your resume needs to be perfect. It's a one time thing. Once you do it, then of course your resume score will be like that, right? It's a one time effort, one time investment. Once you bring your ATS score higher, it will help you everywhere. Not in this, not just in this opportunity. So make sure that your resume's ATS score is 70 and above. These are some of the few things that you can use. There are way more things, but of course, you know your resume best. I have not seen your resume, although you can connect with me for resume review as well. But in a general way, this is what you need to do. Okay, have a resume's ATS score of 70 and above. Now, we got the template, we got the ATS score. The next thing and the most important thing is your project section, right? So here, of course, if you have Java or JavaScript related technologies, it will help you a lot. So if you have Java in your resume, if you work with Spring Boot, 
If you work with JavaScript related technologies, showcase that in your resume. If you work with REST API, showcase that in your resume. Apart from that, I'll give you a list of keywords in the description box like I usually do. You can take a look at it and use those keywords, put them in your resume to make sure that your resume aligns with their JD or their requirements. Okay, that is of course very important. But in a general sense, you need to have good projects. You need to have bullet points for your project description. You need to showcase what you've done in your project. A lot of people have one line, developed a full stack application. No, you need to showcase developed front end using React, using this, developed back end using Spring Boot, using this. You need to have at least three to four lines, bullet points in every project. Not only that will help you in your ATS score, but that will also help you in, you know, impressing the recruiter and showcasing that you have some work experience you have some proper hands-on experience right so that is of course going to be very important apart from that if you have any certifications if you have any open source contribution if you have any hackathon experience any good coding profile showcase that in your resume okay all of these things are going to be very important and one more thing that is going to be very important here if you see on the profile somewhere if you see then they have written that this is also an internal opening meaning that it can be referred to also so if you know anyone in PayPal, you can send them the link and you can ask them to refer you for this. Okay. So that is also a great thing you can do. If you know someone in PayPal, you can ask them or you can apply directly. Both are fine. You don't need to worry about a referral. It's just a so extra step you can take. If you don't know anyone in PayPal, or if you're not able to get a referral, don't worry, but don't waste time before you apply. All right. What I mean is don't take two, three days, four days, just trying to find a referral because the position can close soon. So you need to apply ASAP don't waste any time before you apply okay watch the video which you already have take a look at the description box all of the important things will be there and then make a proper resume and then apply asap and of course if you need more details on how to crack the interview i'll be giving you guys some interview experiences in the description box you can have a look at that as well and you'll be able to figure out basically what the interview process is going to look like okay so that's pretty much it just have a look at the description box and apply asap this is a great opportunity a golden opportunity and I want you guys to register for it. I want you guys to apply for it. And even if you don't get this one, don't worry, because I'll be bringing you guys a lot more opportunities. So all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and you can also join my WhatsApp channel so you don't miss out on any hiring opportunities. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see you in the next video.